Sculpty is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby Lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil. Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield. Together, we can make beautiful things. Hovel's Sewing. Cut to the point with Hovel's Sewing. Moda. Make something quilty with Moda Fabrics. Northcott. Cottons that feel like silk. Omnigrid. Providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years. Hey out there, you're watching Quilty. My name's Mary and I am joined today by Nikki Miners. Hey Nikki. Hey. How are you doing? Doing really well. You came in from Cincinnati today. Nice drive through the Midwest. Nice drive through the Midwest. And you are here, uh, you work for Fairfield, who is our batting sponsor, who we love so much. What do you do for Fairfield? I am the social media director cool. and I also manage their design team called the Master Makers. Awesome. They're the team that bring you all the wonderful inspiration using Fairfield products. Uh -huh. And Fairfield has so many things to offer. And you know, we're not commercial, we don't do commercials on Quilty, but we talk about our sponsors with great love and appreciation because they make the Quilty plane fly. And the thing is with a company like Fairfield who's been around forever, do you know, I don't want to put you on the spot. Actually, it's our 75th anniversary. Dude. So we have a yeah. year long celebration of the 75 years that we've been in business. This is 2015, so if you're watching this later, you know, go back and look at the <laughs> blogs from then. But that is, that's fantastic. I yes. mean, they've been in the business for a lo longer and than. It's a third generation family <sighs> business. So they started out in the hat making business and the fibers and the wools yeah. translated to batting sure. and it just kind of took off from there. Cool. And, and if the people who were starting, who started Fairfield could see all the things they have now, I mean, they'd be so proud and amazed oh, and all that. Absolutely. So today we're going to talk about, and we're going to have a couple episodes together um, in this season. Uh, t today we're going to talk about some different uh, options for batting, some natural battings that y'all make yes. that are really cool. People are interested in those. And we're going to take a look at when you layer some battings. So we're going to talk about that. I just brought this baby quilt because we hold up the other side because oh, sure. I just made it and we I didn't really know where to put it on the, the season so I just thought well we'll show it here and say you have to have batting to make a quilt. Absolutely. <laughs> That's all I got. That's <laughs> all I got for this. Yeah. Fabric yeah. and batting, exactly. little thread. So show me this. This is really cool here. Some of these samples. Show me this what we've got. This is my personal sample wheel oh. that I use when I'm trying to decide what I'm making for magazines or projects. Cool. And they're color coded, like the greens are for the all natural okay. and the blue is for the everyday. And then we also have inner linings which are new to the market. We might touch awesome. on them later. Mm -hmm. But the um, cotton battings, we not only have cotton, we have wool, we have bamboo, and we have combinations of both. Uh -huh. So we have some blends. What bamboo, I mean, I think of bamboo and pandas and hard sticks. I mean, tell me how they make this into batting. Well, I mean, you, I can tell you as much as I possibly <laughs> exactly. can. Tell me about the mechanical process. Where are they, you know? Um, that's proprietary. Yeah, yeah But bamboo is one of the fastest growing natural materials out there. So it replenishes itself in two to three years. Wow. Okay. So bamboo is this wonderful resource that yeah. just keeps replenishing and it propagates itself. So you don't have to worry about replanting. Super green, right? Yes. It's, it's now where is it? Somewhere in here. Bamboo. It's got well part of it in it, right? Yes. It's half. It's half. We have the soft touch cotton, which mm -hmm. is 100% cotton. Right. Then we have something called Naturafil blend, yeah. which is bamboo okay. and organic cotton. So it's like got very it. green, very earth friendly. Question for you: Does this and and what quilters want to know is like, okay, I want to be green or I want to be organic. That's important to me. Um, is it also true that those were, are not going to have any chemical fixatives or anything in them, or is there some of it? Is should, is it going to change the the softness of your quilt? Just tell me a little bit about how it works in most, project. Most of our natural and organic materials yeah. are formulated so that there's a two to three percent shrinkage, which is very important. Yes. Yes. Um, because you don't want to use a batting and then go and wash it and it shrinks 10% and then you have all these ripples and lumps. Right, right. And it happens, you know, I mean, you make a quilt, if it's for a show, like that's a good tip actually. If you're doing a quilt for a show, um, it's going to change the kind of batting you use, but you're probably not going to wash that quilt. No. 
probably should never wash it. So, you know, if you're if you don't want it to do anything like that because you're submitting it to QuiltCon or something, don't worry about it. Just don't wash your quilt. Yeah. But if it's going to be for everyday use, cotton is great because it's generally what the material you're going to put on top of it is. So right. they work well together. Totally. And cotton tends to give it a more natural rippled mm -hmm. um, softer feel right. right and it's my husband likes to do cotton a thin cotton over a polyfill uh -huh. so a fiber base because he likes the loft but he wants the heavy weight I did not know that your spouse is also in all of this. No, he's the recipient oh, of I my. See. <laughs> this is what he's. Oh, he. I love it that he's like, darling. Will you please do a layer of a batting? That's very cute. <laughs> the first quilt that I purchased, yeah. he helped me pick because wow. he's has opinions, unfortunately. Clearly. <laughs> um, but when we got it home, it wasn't heavy enough. Oh. So I started doing a little research and tried to figure out what makes quilts mm -hmm. heavier. Yeah. And I went to the Modern Quilt Guild. Mm -hmm. And they're like, oh, let me tell you. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, well, well, so before we go, this, you know, our time okay. always goes so fast. But let me ask you. So there's there's more to say about yeah. natural, but I want to talk about the difference okay. a little bit between that and the and the polys or something like okay. that. Okay. Well, the naturals again are natural, and they have different results. Right. And then if you're completely organic, I'm semi crunchy. I'm kind of granola. So I use the 100% unbleached. Okay. That's that's my go-to. Yeah. And then we do also have an, a cotton that's pure organic. Cool. So just depending on what you need and what you like, mm -hmm. you can go with those. Cool. And then we These have guys. different lofts right. in the synthetic fibers. It's depending on what the look is that mm -hmm. you want, the weight, how you want it to feel. And the project. You're going to use something different for bags. Sorry to interrupt. Different yeah. for bags and quilts and, and you know pillows and, and things like that. select your batting based on how you want it to drape sure. and if you don't want it to drape uh -huh. so um, just really look at what the end result is that you want yeah and pick it based on that and yeah. if you can there's low loft high loft this was used as a part of a project <laughs> I snipped that right off I did um, and I think the best thing to do is you know you can talk to Fairfield people you can go to your quilt shop you can ask all these questions and feel the batting as much Absolutely. as you can right yes and we, on our website, we have a guide that will provide you all of the information oh. if you don't understand it, fairfieldworld.com. Awesome. So, so in, and, in, in, in closing, I want to show just a, an example of what Nikki was talking about in terms of loft and, and, and thickness. This is a sample of, uh, it's a quilt sandwich here. This has got... The 100% organic. 100% organic cotton. Unbleached. <laughs> Unbleached. You're good. She knows, she knows her stuff. And this is um, quilted free motion, little wave ripple things. You can see it's it's very it's very thin yeah it's very, very flat. flat okay now compare it I'm sure you can tell on your screen I mean this is the 100% cotton with a layer of wool yes so you get two completely different looks it's so puffy with the same stitch same fabrics just by layering your battings different this is like I mean Whoa, the difference is crazy. And there really aren't any rules in what you can combine. There's no batting police out there, so it's what That's makes okay. you happy. That, you need no more advice than that, you know. <laughs> uh, Nikki, thank you. Uh, we could talk about every single one of those things and learn learn from your swatches. Oh, yes, my swatch wheel. The swatch wheel. <laughs> well, we'll have you back and we will talk more. Okay, great, thanks. thanks. Bye. Quilt Day is brought to you by Baby Lock. Baby lock sewing and long arm machines, from piecing to long arming for the love of sewing. Aurafil, Aurafil Italian thread, perfectly suited for all your quilting projects. Dear Stella, a unique fabric brand with modern style. Fairfield, together we can make beautiful things. Hovel's sewing, cut to the point with Hovel's sewing. Moda, make something quilty with Moda fabrics. Northcott, Cottons that feel like silk. OmniGrid, providing quilters with specialty rulers and accessories for over 30 years.